Hi guys, it's Triple C. Well, I got myself a new desk and I got myself a new chair. And I got myself a new setup, as you can see, and a new light. Well, we got a new video. So today we're gonna look at the new Steam Link Beta for Android. This is some really cool news because before this point, we have to use a third party software to do video game streaming and it work good sometimes, work bad some other times. Well, now Steam releasing the official one, even though it's just a beta, but we're gonna take a look at it. But of course, a software like that, I always had to make some kind of contraption, and which I did. So we're gonna take a look at this first and then we're gonna look at the Steam Link. Well, we're talking about Steam Link for Android, so obviously we're gonna need some sort of a smartphone or tablet that is Android based to do this video. So we got here, it's a Asus Z370 I think that's what's called. It's a Zenpad Z370 Android tablet. It's an 8-inch Android tablet released a few years ago. I believe it was 2013 or something like that. But it's got quad-core processor in it, the uh, Qualcomm 615 processor, and it got 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's not too terrible. So for streaming or uh, light emulation and stuff like that, it's pretty good. And I had this thing rooted and installed the uh, Android 7.1 operating system so let's just let this thing boot up while we look at this construction here the same old ps3 controller here this is access controller with a attachment that i always wanted for putting your smartphone onto one of these holder thing that goes to your ps3 controller but i needed it for the tablet i could go out and buy one of those hook on uh, game controller, but that's gonna cost another 50 bucks or something like that. So it's not worth it Therefore it's time For a little contraction making which I did what I did was I moved this thing reverse So it's facing backwards this way that I can attach this really cheap Tablet holder and then I had some Velcro tightened together, but in between I had these three end tapes These things are amazing it doesn't move. Look at this thing. This is nice. So the back has a little twisting knob. It releases the thing. I put the tablet on it. Just like that. Hook it up. Tie it back on. Ah, perfect. Look at this. Since it's rooted, I can use Successes Controller app. Can I my PS3 controller to it. There we go, it's connected. Yeah, so now we have PS3 controller connected to the tablet, and all you got to do is run the Steam Link app, which you can get from the App Store. Everything's in Chinese because the system, my tablet, needs to be in Chinese for maps and stuff like that. So I will explain what everything is, or I will put a little note on what they are. But what you do is, when you come in here, you have to connect to a computer that's running Steam and it has the in-home streaming setup ready. So what you wanna do is, here's this computer and then you can scan for a computer. So it's going to scan a computer that's in the same network, which it finds my computer right here. That's the name on the computer and if it's good, that's good. You can set up your controller there, and here you can do, and you can set up your streaming quality for speed, balance, or for look. It depends on your uh, router speed. That's what it determines if it's any good. You can do a little speed testing. Right now I'm sitting at speed. I don't need too much of a image quality. So for speed, you don't need as much data to go and then 
Yeah, sometimes it's gonna tell me it's not so good and sometimes it's gonna tell me it's just fine, but that's just the way it is, depends on how good your router is. So once everything is connected and it finds a controller, you have to have a controller to go with it. I don't know if you need a PS3 controller, but you need a controller to go with it. And when everything is good, you can run it and then you will load Steam in big picture mode. Let's see, Android controller side. You can set up the controller, I guess. Sure, Android controller, whatever it takes. And then you go into your library and voila, you can run your Steam games right off your Android device via official Steam link. Obviously, it is running off the computer in real time. So if you run it on streaming on the tablet, you have to have your computer dedicated for the software in the game as well. That's just how it is. How about how about Mafia 3 then? All right. I have these numbers here. It tells me my uh, current resolution and then my network activity. If it stay low, that means it's fast, low latency. If it goes up, that means slow. So sometimes you can see spikes or a period of time that didn't go so good. That has a lot to do with your router and your device if it's connected fast enough. All right, let's go check out the settings. Options. And uh, what do we got? And display options. Resolution. That's the resolution for my LG monitor. So we don't need that. Really just need the 720p. That would do just fine for this tablet. Or better yet, if it has 1280 by 800, then that would be perfect. So let's check it out. There it is, 1280 by 800. So that's what we're going to go for. All right. So let's go back. That doesn't look so bad. Oh, oh. The controller is a little fast, though. I had to get used to this controller. All right, so whatever. Oops, sorry, lady. As you can see there, there's a spike. When you get a spike, you know, it's gonna be slower. This one seems to be a little laggy right now. I wonder why. Could it be the computer? On the look of it, it's actually quite fast. It's really depending on your hardware, I guess. Depends on hardware and your network speed. The software itself is pretty awesome. Like this game, obviously not that demanding. And as you can see from the background that's running on the computer, the speed is pretty fast. The latency is very low. But earlier on that Mafia 3 game, you can obviously see the latency is much higher, maybe because the game is much more demanding, perhaps the computer really is just not handling it too well while sharing it out, streaming it out, I should say. So yeah, it's got its, it's, got its advantage and disadvantages. But I still say this is very good because it's the official app. 
And then there's gonna be a ton more as an update to it, that's for sure. Since right now it's really just the beta. Perhaps it will get even better. More options. It'll run a lot better. I think the software itself is already excellent. Now it's all about the hardware. If your Android Wi-Fi is going to be strong enough, or if your PC Wi-Fi is going to be strong enough, now the PC itself should be strong enough as well. You need to run the game, handle it, and you need to stream it onto the router to your Android device. So your router itself needs to be strong enough as well. It's about those hardware. So I think, aside from making the software really good, what I need to do outside making the software really, really good is to set a standard of what hardware, connection hardware, Wi-Fi router or computer connection, Android connection, set a standard of just what hardware will be good enough for this sort of streaming gaming. I think that it's going to help a lot of people choose their hardware and have a better experience with it. So that will be all for this video. Hopefully you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I will leave the link for the Steam Link beta in the description down below. And of course, I will see you next time.